We need to find the values of all six trig functions. We need to find the values of all six trig functions. We need to find sine of x. We need to find the cosine of x. Tangent of x. And the reciprocals. So cosecant of x. Secant of x. And cotangent of x. So these are what we need to find. Now, good news, we already know one of them. Yeah, for some reason this did not get printed off in your notes, so I apologize. So you need to make sure you have this. This is a one half. And this would be about the only type of problem you're actually going to use your values from your circle for the next couple sections. So what we need to do is we need to draw a triangle Let me know where it's at. Um, if we're going to draw a triangle here, we need to figure out which quadrant we're going to be in. First, second, or third. Well, if sine is positive, it can only be in the first or second. Right? So we narrowed it from four quadrants down to two. Now this also says cosine is greater than zero, which means it's positive. Quadrant one, right? So you're gonna be in the first quadrant. So we're gonna go here, up, down, and let's label your triangle here. So this is x. Now the x is the same thing as having a theta, right? It's not the sine of the x coordinate here. Now if, if sine is a one half, is that your y or your x value? your y. So if that's a one half, what well, has to be your x value? Square root so that means your one. hypotenuse is going to be a one. Okay. So what you do is just go through and fill in your chart now. So the cosine of x, that's your x value. One over no, don't flip it yet. Right. Cosine is derived of 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Tangent, well that's just 1 over rad 3. And then you just go through and list your reciprocals. So posting against reciprocal signs, that's going to be a 2. And 2 over rad 3, <coughs> rad 3. Yeah. I have to show you this thing. <laughs> All right.